all share the same human journey. As human beings, we're all the same on the inside. We have all the same mechanisms like lungs and hearts, brains and everything else. All of us experience the same life cycle. We experience common rites of passages like school, graduations, weddings, retirements and funerals. When we realize this, the superficial differences like appearances and status fall away and we embrace the humanness in one another. John Lennon once simplified this truth when he said, I am he, as you are he, as you are me, and we are all together. We experience the same universal emotions. All of us have to deal with the complexity of our feelings. Our inner world is ruled by the nuanced, vibrant, and varied fabric of our emotional lives. Over the course of our lives, each of us feels basic emotions such as happiness, sadness, fear, disgust, anger, and surprise. While the way that we express those emotions will depend on our cultural backgrounds and natural inclinations, we're all impacted by them in one way or another through our influence and our experiences. All of us also call Earth home. We breathe the same air, eat food grown from the same soil, and drink water from the same oceans. Our planet sustains us with its resources and gives us a place to live and prosper. The Earth under your feet is below all your fellow beings. We're part of one big global family, and each of us has a responsibility to take care of the only celestial home that we have. Carl Sagan's successor, Neil deGrasse Tyson, wrote, We are all connected to each other biologically, to the Earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. We are not figuratively, but literally stardust. Eckhart Tolle wrote, Love is the recognition of oneness in a world of duality. This is the birth of God into the world of form. Love makes the world less worldly, less dense, and more transparent to the divine dimension, the light of consciousness itself.